So those local plans play a big role in the economies of the communities across Northeast Ohio. Our Isabel Lawrence touched base with mayors in areas who have plants in their communities here where we all live. And uh, I understand you learned a little bit more about really how much they impact their area. Here she is. It was business as usual this morning at the Avon Lake Ford plant. Welcome news to Mayor Greg Zilka. I was shocked that they didn't go on strike last night, so I'm pleased for this day, but who knows what the next day will bring. Right now, the Ford plants in Avon Lake and Brook Park are up and running, but Zilka realizes that could change if the strike continues. We are really dependent on Ford. We're dependent on other businesses as well, but for it is a large percentage of that income tax that we collect. Zilka says the 1,800 Ford employees in his city generate about $2 million in income taxes used for city infrastructure and services, not to mention the support they give small businesses. Whenever there's a strike, that, that is a negative impact financially for the community with income tax. Mayor Edward Orcutt of Brook Park has similar concerns should the strike continue. We have union employees here in Brook Park as well too that, you know, they need their cost of living raises. So it's a negative impact that really just ripples out to our business owners, to the city operations and we hope that they actually get back to work as soon as possible. Both mayors acknowledging the long-standing relationships their cities have with these plants and say they remain hopeful that the workers and automakers can come together and come to an agreement. I'm cautiously optimistic that we'll see a resolution to this uh, um, soon. Now, I did reach out to the mayor of Parma as well, and I was told he was not available for an interview today. His office directed us to a statement they sent us on Wednesday before the strike began which reads in part, quote, city officials and I have a great working relationship with both UAW 1005 and GM management. We remain hopeful that meaningful dialogue between the two parties will lead to a mutually beneficial agreement. All right, Isabel Lawrence, we appreciate it. Thank you.